Hello, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you a story called Stanley and the Magic Spider. And there is Stanley. Stanley and the Magic Spider was written and illustrated by Peter Jurelis. One morning, Miss Peckinpah found a little Stanley on her doorstep. She squinted through blurry bifocals. You must be one of those labradoodle thingies, she said. From that moment on, Stanley was a dog. Does he look like a dog to you? He doesn't look like a dog to me. Wonder what kind of animal he really is. I know he can't be a dog. He doesn't have dog ears and a dog nose. I don't know. Let's see what kind of animal Stanley might be. Maybe he is a dog. But being a dog was hard. Stanley didn't fit in at all. But Stanley did have Anderson. He was the best stuffed monkey a dog could have. He tagged along everywhere in Stanley's backpack, so Stanley never, ever took it off. So when Stanley tried to dog paddle, Anderson was there. When Stanley went to obedience school, Anderson was there. And every time Stanley never got picked for dog ball, Anderson was there. More than anything, Stanley wished he could just fit in with the other dogs. So that's what he and Anderson set out to find. Just one wish. First, they searched for a wishbone. It was a long shot, but Stanley had seen other dogs dig up plenty of bones. They did not find a wishbone. Next, they went looking for a wishing well to make some cool ripples. Nothing. Then Stanley heard something buzzing way up in the sky. There's Stanley, sneered Butch, controlling a toy plane from the ground. Let's have some fun. What do you think they're going to do? The plane turned and rocketed straight for Stanley. Stanley scrambled, scrabbled, and scurried to get away. But the plane roared closer and closer. Do you think it's going to hit Stanley? What do you think is going to happen? Stanley dipped, tripped, and flipped to the ground. But Anderson was snagged and pulled into the sky. Oh my goodness, poor Anderson. How do you think Stanley feels? Have you ever lost an important toy? Oh my goodness, poor Stanley. I remember one time losing a teddy bear that I loved. And I couldn't go to sleep for a couple nights because I didn't have my bear. Oh my goodness, I hope he gets Anderson back.
Anderson broke free and tumbled through the air. He landed with a bing, bang, boom. Oh, right on top of a water tower. Stanley knew his friend would be scared. I'll get you down, he promised. But he had no idea how. That's going to be tricky, said a very large and very blue spider. You could find a ladder or maybe a giant slingshot would work. The spider quickly wove those things with his sparkling web. Whoa, said Stanley. Are you magic? Well, the magical spider smiled. I help others find their own way. You see, the spider continued, you know the way to the most wonderful places where signs fall behind and the road chases. Whether it's over the hills or through the trees, you can soar with the birds, you can buzz with the bees. And if you get lost on the long trip home, you'll find your way. You're never alone. That didn't sound like magic to Stanley. Stanley looked up at Anderson. We were just looking for a wish. You're in luck, said the magic spider, checking his many watches. A meteor shower is due any minute. Nothing happened. I say any minute, he repeated. Suddenly, hundreds of stars raced again across the sky. Stanley's eyes lit up. A meteor shower meant shooting stars, and shooting stars meant dozens of wonderful wishes. Stanley picked one star and squeezed his eyes shut. He was going to get his wish to finally fit in. And then he thought about Anderson. His friend needed his help. So that's what he wished for. Stanley, the magic spider shouted, you're floating. Stanley looked over his shoulder. Two tiny wings waved back. His backpack must have been hiding them all along. Thank you, Stanley called to the magic spider as he zoomed up the water tower. Stanley forced his wings to flap hot faster and faster. He reached out and felt something soft and furry. Gotcha, he said, hugging Anderson tight as the two friends soared into the sky together. I can fly! Sailing above the sky, Stanley heard Butch and the gang below. Is that Stanley? One said. He's flying, said another. He's a, a dragon! Even with the wind whistling in his ears, Stanley could hear them cheering. Look at Stanley, he's smiling. Do you think they fondly like him? Ooh, this kind of looks dark and scary. Let's read to find out. Stanley nervously looked around. Everything looked different way up high. He was scared. He had no way to get home. Oh my goodness. Have you ever been lost? Poor Stanley. Then Stanley noticed something below. A sparkling web weaved between bushes, around houses, and under fences. Stanley smiled. The magic spider was guiding him home.
Stanley floated through the sky, spinning and giggling. He forgot all about fitting in. He was having far too much fun standing out. That means being unique, special. And check out this picture. In our story, Stanley was a dragon. But in real life, Pete, Peter Jurlis is a writer and an illustrator that lives in Oregon with his wife and two children. In addition to doodling, which is drawing, he has, he has sculpted movie and video characters and is an award-winning game designer. Stanley and the Magic Spiders, his first children's book. And this is his real Stanley. Stanley is a dog in real life. 